You are watching the Global Treasurer's Future in Focus series. My name is Divya Menon, Executive Director, Transaction Banking, Cash Management Sales at Standard Chartered Bank, New York. Today, I am joined by our two esteemed panelists, Todd Yoder, who is the Managing Director of Global Finance and Treasury at Floor Corporation, and Christophe Nilisha, who is the Head of Treasury at John Lewis Partnership. Today, we will be talking with our panelists about how digitalization is shaping their treasury decisions. Transparency and predictability in cash flows and liquidity has become much more relevant than ever. Digital enablers are actually opening doors for a 24 by 7 treasury. Artificial intelligence, robotics are some of the key themes that we hear about more and more. How do you think this will shape the way you organize your treasury infrastructure? And what will it look like for you in 2022? We will pass it on to Todd to help us understand this a little better. Absolutely. It's great to, to be here. And thank you for the kind introduction. Um, technology is definitely playing a huge part. And I think there's been a lot of us treasurers who have used technology and viewed technology as an enabler and a game changer for for uh, at least the past three or four years when we've seen what I call the great acceleration in, in treasury technology, uh, technology in general, but uh, more so as it relates to us in finance and treasury. Um, and you know, there's really four big parts to that uh, that I think are driving what I call the great acceleration, which is computation. So compute power. And so we're able to compute so, so much faster and cheaper than we ever have in the past. The other thing is storage. Storage has become uh, extremely uh, cheap as compared to historically. Uh, big data. So, you know, Treasury has always been very impatient. And we, if it's not real time, then it's not right. Christoph, over to you. Thank you and good afternoon, everybody. Generally speaking, I have always thought of treasury uh, technology as an enabler of good business practice. And in my mind, the evolution of, tre uh, of treasury technology is simply a law of nature. To me, it is never about if, but rather when you adopt it. And therefore, it makes a lot of sense to be as, um, uh, as fast moving as, as, you, uh, as you possibly can. In my current role, I took over a treasury systems architecture that had, and understandably so, not received much attention during the pandemic. Um, bear in mind, I work for one of the household names in UK retail, and John Lewis was as uh, as affected by the pandemic as uh, every every other retailer and priorities uh, lay elsewhere, and treasury systems weren't one of them. Um, me and my team are working hard to update and upgrade our systems as they currently stand. I'm particularly focused on connecting various applications to each other simply because straight through processing means that various systems that we use can actually talk to each other in the first place in, in order to uh, uh, configure, the, configure them subsequently. The higher the level of manual processing, the less the value it add is, um, is achieved by the treasury function. Therefore, I consider automation uh, to, to be absolutely imperative and to be the answer to the notorious uh, res resource shortage that um, uh, that most most treasury teams experience, and my current team is uh, is no exception here. Thank you, Christoph. So clearly, uh, data visualization, uh, computing, big data, limited availability of resources seem to be the key theme that a lot of the treasurers or treasury professionals are thinking about. How important is it for you to be able to depict and forecast historical and forward-looking cash flow views? So when we talk about balance-centric or analyzing payments, collections, FX flows to optimize your operational activities, flow-centric kind of dashboards to help you move away from the manual to the more automated uh, form of uh, data sharing. Christoph, can you share your thoughts on how critical this is for you? But my personal belief is that treasurers are now at the point where we are looking for what comes next uh, beyond mere automation of existing processes, and we want to get our systems to do some of the thinking as well. Treasury functions are no longer physical processes, but rather virtual processes that are increasingly highly automated. And I think of treasury teams as knowledge workers who make decisions and conduct an, uh, analytics um, in a um, 
in an increasingly dynamic framework that must balance uh, internal and external um, and environmental um, consideration against the backdrop of uh, very fast moving markets. As treasurers recognize that uh, we are not adding value by processing and settling and administering transactions and uh, therefore we are, uh, we are um, aiming towards higher levels of, um, of automation, of streamlining and simplif uh, simplification in our operations. I think simplicity in treasury is key and uh, simplicity in operations has its benefits and within the context of evaluating the advantages of um, robotic process automation and artificial intelligence, machine learning, the conclusion is that the easier the operations in cash and front exchange, uh, the easier it is to reap the um, benefits of robotic process of automation and artificial intelligence. Thank you. Uh, Todd, what are your views on this? My thoughts on it are artificial intelligence. You know, we are, we're, that is being sold to us quite a bit as uh, treasurers. Uh, by a lot of different fintechs. Um, I always say artificial intelligence doesn't exist. Um, and that's just uh, kind of a, a view I share uh, with Lex Friedman from MIT, who's, who's one uh, in the space that I follow pretty closely. Our artificial narrow intelligence exists and it's extremely powerful and it's definitely changing the game. Um, but AGI and ASI, I think are are down the road if, if they, uh, I'm in the camp of if they will ever actually be achieved. Uh, um, I think it's going to take neuroscientists and uh, data scientists working together. Thank you so much, Todd. Uh, clearly, very, very interesting insight there. So by the side of it, it seems like data, you know, be it in the form of machine learning, artificial intelligence, you know, combined with technology, data combined with technology is a powerful combination to manage treasury operations. I mean, simplistically put, now it can efficiently and effectively help uh, manage working capital, optimize liquidity, and to some extent simplify operational processes, to name a few. However, uh, one of the things that treasurers do ask is it comes with some form of security issues. And with all this digitalization going around with artificial intelligence, machine learning, some of the things that you have mentioned about, what are the challenges in your opinion that Treasury faces around cybersecurity and risk management? So can we go to you to answer this? Yes, this is the area that really keeps me up at night if there, there is an area. Um, you know, the word ransomware, when I hear that word, I, I, it scares me. And, um, you know, I know I w was asked to, to write an article um, on uh, Bitcoin and corporates using Bitcoin and adopting Bitcoin and putting it on the balance sheet. You know, they mentioned, hey, you should probably think about having some Bitcoin on the balance sheet just in the event that something does happen um, and Bitcoin's not $65,000 anymore, it's $150,000, or who knows, right? Or it could be $10,000 or um, but to have some of that Bitcoin um, on the balance sheet that, that we can use in those types of situations. And all that did was really scare me uh, even more. So this is an area that I am not an expert in. Um, fortunately, at Fleur, we have um, some extremely talented people in our cybersecurity uh, business discipline. So uh, I feel very fortunate for that. But uh, it, it uh, is really, I'm really looking forward to hearing Kristoff's uh, view because he, uh, he's a lot more advanced than, than I am in this area. Um, Todd, I wouldn't consider myself uh, more advanced than you, rather uh, rather the opposite. Uh, I would agree with this uh, with the starting point here that uh, cyber attacks indeed do continue to dominate the headlines and as corporate treasurers are natural pr uh, prime targets here. Thank you for watching the Global Treasurer's Future in Focus series. Thank you so much, Todd and Christoph, for joining our discussion today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Stay well.